Mark, tell us about your Lamborghini Countach. Um, I've owned it uh, 13 years. Um, it wasn't a perler when I bought it. I've had it uh, totally restored, bare metal repaint two years ago. Um, numerous services, uh, just basically anything you can see that makes it look nice, I've had done, basically. Um, it's um, a bit of a labour of love, to be honest, but uh, a joy to own. It really is a joy to own. So it's a 1987 car? Yeah, 87. It's very last of the unskirted cars, which I think is a prettier car. It's, I think they went too far with the later designs on it, I, I believe. Um, I just love it. I just do it uh, just to um, show mileage, really. That's it. I just take it to places like this. Gaydon, Brooklands. Um, I took it to the Earl's Court show uh, in October. That was good. Good experience. Yeah, so I just love showing it off, really. You know, that's it, what it's for. What's it like to run? Running costs? Running costs are horrendous, to be honest. It's uh, about, I think you've got a, I've so far spent about 5,000 a year. Really? On it, yeah, 5,000 a year. How many miles do you do? I do about 1,000 miles a year in it. Yeah, and uh, like I say, I spent more on it than I paid for it so far. Really? Yeah, yeah, I paid 50,000 for it. I've spent nearly 60,000 on it now. So it owes me 110. <laughs> But you never thought about selling it? Well, having said that, the values have gone up, which is yeah. good. So I haven't really lost that money, if you like. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's, a, that's a good thing. Whereas maybe if I bought a Ferrari, I might not have appreciated as much. But I think being a Countach is becoming rarer and rarer. Um, so this is, is um, a car like was in the, the Cannonball yeah, run. Yeah, Cannonball run. Yeah, that was one of my inspirations, really. Cause, uh, what, the two hot blondes? I remember, yeah, I remember watching that. Yeah, and really the noise of the engine, to be yeah. honest, even though it was probably a bit false. But... <laughs> But yeah, it's just become an iconic supercar, yeah, rarer and rarer. Definitely. Can yeah. we have a little look around yeah, the car? Yeah, sure, yeah. Mark, show us the iconic doors and the way they go up. Sure. Okay, white interior, very striking, I, I believe. Um, yeah. Best colour combination on the car, by far, I believe. It just uh, looks so nice, but you have to keep on top of it, keep it clean. It does show marks very easily. Can we have a look at the engine, Mark? Sure. Just been serviced. Was dropping a lot of oil. Um, very expensive actually to get it serviced, but it's got to be done. But it's so clean now; it's um, what I say, near perfect. To What's be the uh, engine CC? It's five thousand two hundred yeah. uh, quattro valve V twelve, uh, which is um, compared to the older cars, which are two valve five litre. So not as quick as this. This is really the ultimate spec, if you like. And I, I, you know, I believe the one to own as a as a future investment. What's the BHP on this? Uh, four, I think it's 465 around, 465. Uh, official figures are about 0 to 60, about 5.5, but I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that? <laughs> no, no, no. Why is that? Because I, I wouldn't want to, um, you know, put stress on the car. No. I, just do, I just do pleasure mileage, just, just enjoy the car, really. Enjoy so you, showing it off. So you've, yeah. you've had it for so long? Yep. Um, what is the miles on the car? Um, it's done now 25,000 miles, uh, for, and it, the car is 23 years old, right. so it's very low. Is very but no wonder it's going up in value. Yes, yeah, it, it, yeah, I think you just have to keep it that way. You really don't overdrive it. Um, it. At the end of the day, it's a very expensive car to run, I think. And yeah. uh, if you do much more than that, it becomes unaffordable, really. Uh, it's cleaned me out, to be honest. <laughs> it's cleaned me out, yeah. Have you, I need to get saving again. Have you thought about buying anything else? Uh, if I bought another Kuntar, uh, sorry, another Lamborghini, it would be a Merschel Argo, okay. I think. Um, I couldn't go back uh, to an older car. Right. Purely because of restoration, yeah. But the Merchel Argo, as you know, as I see, it's a work of art. That car, the LP six forty, you know. possibly. Yeah, work of art, and I think they're becoming down to very good, affordable prices actually now. But I'll stick with this for the meantime. Yeah, I think it's, it's just what suits me. Um, it's, like I say, becoming rarer and rarer. Yeah, and uh, people love it. Really, people always take interest in it. Definitely. Well, you can't go wrong with it while it's going up in value. No, that's it. That's the, and, and it's a good thing that it is, yeah. you know, for, for this, you know, with the maintenance I've had to spend on it. Mm. Um, that's uh, a relief, really. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy your day, Mark. Yeah, Thanks thank you very much, us. Will. Thank you. Thank you.